Welcome back. Uh, a few videos ago, we had shown you these words public, 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 but we never actually told you what they meant. We promised we would come back and explain. Now's that time. What public is, is public is describing the access that another programmer has to these variables. So you'll see that these three variables are set to public, public, public. What this means is it means that if you're in a runner program, you can do this. I can say, Bob, set your speed to 9999999. Hey, Bob, set your position equal to negative whatever that is. Now, you may think this is good because it makes it easy to use your program. But what it actually does is it sort of opens up your car class to a programmer using it, causing trouble, and then the program not working, and they go, oh, that car class stinks. Um, so one thing you can do is you can actually prevent access to these variables so that a programmer can't use them freely like this. Okay, this is called public access. They basically have full access to the variables right now. So let's take that out, and let's do something different. Actually, I'll leave those in and just do something different here. I'm going to change these words to private. Now when I change them to private access, what this does is the technical definition means that the car class or an instance of a car class is the only thing that's allowed to use these variables. If you are not an instance of the car class, you cannot use these variables. So watch what this does. Well, it does nothing inside of my car class because this is the car class. Car class can access public or private variables in the car class. But look what it does in my car runner class. In the car runner class, all of a sudden I get the red line. So Bob's a car. Hey, Bob, set your speed equal to, and then all of a sudden it says speed has private access in car. Now this is important. What it now does, it does not allow a programmer to just, at their own discretion, change the speed to just some speed, because then my car class has no way to verify maybe that that's an acceptable value that's gonna work with my class. So for instance, I had said one thing about my speeds was I could not have a negative speed. So let's say negative 100. Because speed is private now, a programmer just can't go and change the speed to a negative value. Maybe when I write the rest of my car class, maybe negative values will break whatever code I write, okay, cause problems. So I don't want them to be able to do this. Well, the one nice thing is, is I've given the user a way to change the speed already. I've given them that method, speed up, and they can speed up by a certain amount, or if they want to speed down, they can speed down 50. Whoops, I didn't call it speed down, that makes no sense. Slow down and slow down 50. Those are acceptable ways to get to the speed variable. I control that, right? So when we go back here and we look at my speed up and speed down, well, speed up, I have no limits here. But maybe I just add one here like if speed is above 200, speed equals 200. Maybe that's the maximum for my car class. And slow down, I definitely have a restriction here. I don't let them go below zero. So by making this variable private, I force the user to use these two methods, speed up and slow down, to make changes to my speed variable. These methods are called mutator methods because they mutate, they change the value of one of my class variables. I should say method, method. Same with that one there, mutator method. Okay, so I have a few there, speed up, speed up, slow down, slow down. Now, this term here, mutator, it's an official term you have to know. Okay, it's a method that affects a class variable. Okay, so it's giving access to it. So that's not too bad, right? 
our mutator methods. So this is the idea of why you might want to do a private variable. Public license plate, probably not a good idea because what ends up happening if somebody just in the program now in the code could just go here and say, hey Bob, change your license plate to like, I don't know, to something like that. Dum dum. So that's not very nice, right? You don't want a coder just to be able to make changes to your object's variables freely, right? You want to control it. Now, this idea, well, then you may say to yourself, okay, let's not take the position there. But then you may say to yourself, well, then how do I find out the speed of Bob? Because now I want to know how fast Bob is going. So let's say I want to go system out, print line. Bob dot speed, because I want to know how fast Bob is going. And then you go, uh-oh, private access, you can't get the speed. Well, that takes us to our next topic, which is methods that'll send you back values. And that's going to be a really useful one, especially now that we've made these private class variables. So that's what the next video is going to talk about. See you then.